If you don't know Telltale series, they do all of the choose-your-own-adventure type of thing. They did uh, the Walking Dead series. They did the Wolf Among Us, which was a really cool like fantasy play. I did like that one. That was, that was pretty cool. If you haven't played these, uh, or at least, you know, looked into them, it's kind of like the Until Dawns and things like that. It's butterfly effects and decisions that you make affect the story. So I want to see what their take on Batman is. I wonder if this is going to be like a gritty, dark version like DC has been playing him, you know, here recently. As like this dark, grungy, revengeful character. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Gotham. City Hall. What's up, guy? Bongiorno. Hey, what are you? Holy hell. They're not messing around. Better watch your tootsies, there's a laser there. Get it open. On it. Harvey Dent, nice. So hey, two face will appear. Huh? Goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. That's what they all say. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Gotham Zoo. Oh, baby. Launch it. Step line me. Huh? I'm a coming. To not do that. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. They really do, though. The hell they go? I'm just saying. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Whoa! Oh. Sorry, I bumped you guys. Oh. 
Back to back, circle up! Let's go play some games with him. What the hell is this? I know you're trying to create a myth. Something to fear. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Some reflexes. He actually put up a good fight. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Oh. Behind you, big boy. Hey there. Hey Nothing on this. I am the bat. You have no choice. Come on. See ya. Peace out, bros. Be intimidating. You're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. The police are scared of me. Really? Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. You wait till I, I beat that ass. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. <laughs> Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't uh, you know not to corner a wild animal? It kind of looks it's like dangerous. I already caught you. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Sorry, cat. I'm gonna have to hurt you. What are you doing trying to stomp our ass for, man? Justice side here, bud. I don't know that I'd just be smacking around this team. Oh, now we're on the news. Doing some strange. 
right up. It's over. Jujitsu on her. I got her, I got her, I got her. Oh, okay. That's close. Two of them now? Jesus! I got it! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Am I about to save my good name? Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Dang. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I bet the news didn't catch that side of the story where the cop shot me in the back. I got her? about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours <laughs> don't struggle or you'll fall oh, but that's what you crave the struggle I know men like you I'm a beefcake Chad okay don't mind me Bye, bad. <laughs> oh you bitch You stole my grapple gun? You bitch! Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones hey. be your family legacy. I feel you on that one. Well then. Time to okay. save the city. So we're here at the Harvey Dent, uh, awareness party. <laughs> Welcome to Gotham. Oh, we in and out. We're, we're, we're here. And I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, you're welcome. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, oh, wow. this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Here, here. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. I just wanted to make a funny. Together, we will change Gotham. 
to take the credit for my joke. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, For you. I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say yeah. so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to really? Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either uh, yes well that was a long time ago I've moved on of course of course together 
We'll help the whole city move on. I'm a whole ass man now. Uh, not how I pictured that going. Right now, I'm picturing another drink. You know, I was kind of hoping you would mention my campaign. Or at least my name. And now I'm picturing that drink too. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, okay. Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can I was ask gonna me instantly say, you hey, yeah, that's probably a black cat. Tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. We'll talk tomorrow then. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um is that blood? Yeah. It looks like Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. Jesus, Harvey. Inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser? Doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Why? You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Uh huh. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My... Lighten the load if we do so together. 
I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. They're not gonna These punk are me, dude. all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. like where this is going and I absolutely love how fucking laid back and chill Bruce Wayne is like I know I am picking some of the like you know sarcastic funny you know bullshittery answers but so far this is pretty legit It's me. Voice activated base. There she is. He still has the tickets? That's not obsession or anything. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, yeah, she did get away, yeah. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna end episode one right here. Stay tuned for more. I'm excited. I really like the way this is going. Right now, I'm pulling real hard for Harvey Dent. I want this dude to stay wholesome. I, I don't want him to turn into Two-Face and become a straight-up asshole. Because I don't like how they butchered him, so... 
Yeah. I am looking forward though to see if the uh, the Joker is in it or Scarecrow or any of the other ones. Any of them. We got Black Hat. But uh, yeah. Leave a like if you guys liked it. Sub for more. Let me know what you think. Thank y'all for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients...